So we got a newly launched feature, which is Access Analyzer Internal Analysis. So if you see over here, on the left side, we have Access Analyzer, and I can go ahead and click on it. And from here, we have the option to look at which principles have access to internal resources. So when it loads, what you can see down here is the following of the ability to create an analyzer. So I'll go ahead and click on to say, let me move over into Singapore region first. So once I hit over into Singapore region, what I'll do now is to show you the access analyzer that has been created that's gonna help us to tag who are the principals who have access to some of critical resources. So I'll go ahead and select onto select analyzers. And right here, we have the zone of trust. The so zone of trust is within the account or within the AWS organization. So you have the option of choosing that. So in our case, we're choosing the AWS account here that we have. And then we have a couple of analyzers. The first one is external access analysis. So what this does is they'll look out for external principles from the AWS account and see who has access to that. And number two is internal access. So this is where we are monitoring specific resources within the AWS account and telling you which principal has access to that. So I'll go ahead and filter this. And once I have it, I'll click on to update. And you can see right here, we have 21 of these findings. I can go ahead and click onto it. And you can see right here, this is the internal access and with the current account. And we have targeted a specific bucket in this situation, we have the hacker Lloyd test bucket, and this are the IAM principals who have access to this specific resource. So if you see on the right side, we have, for example, like the bucket ACL, we have the access level of read list, all right, we have, for example, the service control policy, resource control policy, and whether they are being applied over into this specific resource. So in our case, we have the IAM role, so I'll go ahead and select onto one of them that's a little more interesting. So let's go ahead and select onto EC2 role. So once I click onto it, there is a pop-up right here. And we can see that in this situation, we have the finding information. All right, so this is the principal ID, right? So the principal ID states the following. So we have the AWS account ID, all right? And this is an IAM role, EC2 role. So this is the principal owner account and whether these two preventative controls are in place. And on the right side, this are the access level. So what can this principal do against a specific resource in this situation, an S3 bucket? So this specific principal can create bucket, create job, delete access point. So pretty much full permission over into the S3 bucket. So this is a very powerful permission has been granted over into this principal to this resource. And we'll show you how we can set it up and let's jump over the architecture of things. Now, in terms of the architecture of things, the first thing you want to take a look at is in terms of who has access to, for example, the specific S3 bucket. So in this situation, on the right side, you have an application that is say hosted on EC2 and it has access to, for example, like S3, it has access to snapshots, it has access to dynamo streams or tables, or it could be any other services or applications. So these are intended permissions. However, your best friend forever might have been granted permissions into some of these critical resources, for example, like the S3 bucket, like the DynamoDB streams or tables, or even directly over into RDS snapshots. And you want to detect that quickly and block out this direct access over into these resources. And this is where IAM Access Analyzer Internal Access comes into play. Now, the first thing you need to do is to turn on Kyle Linux. I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, what you can do is head over into AWS Identity and Access Management Service. And on the left side, you select onto Analyzer Settings. And once you're on analyzer settings, you can see here, I have a couple of analyzers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and delete the existing internal access analyzer that I have. So I'll go ahead and click delete on this. So I'll show you the whole setup for this. So I enter delete, click onto the delete button. So the access analyzer is now deleted. I'll go ahead and select on the create analyzer. And here we have three options. The first option is to look out for external principal access into your AWS account as well as possibly into your AWS organizations of AWS accounts. And I've done a tutorial on that, so go ahead and search for that. Right in the center is internal access, which we are going through, and all the way to the right is principal analysis on unused access. So once I select onto resource analysis, internal access, I can give it a name. And of course, the name has been pre-filled for us, so let's leave it as it is. 
I'll scroll all the way down, and you can see this is region specific because the resources that I was sharing with you earlier, like S3 buckets, DynamoDB, as well as RDS, they are region specific resources. So you can create your access analyzer based on the region that you have some of these critical resources running on, and you want to look up for the accesses to these resources. And of course, the zone of trust in our situation is the current account. But if you want to check across your AWS organizations, head over to Delegate Administrator and you can do just that. Scrolling down, we can now add resources. So in my case, I can select on to add resources. And there are three options for here, right? One is from the selected accounts by pasting the Amazon resource name as well as uploading a CSV file that contains all these different resources. So in my case, I'm going to select onto the resource arm, but before I do that, I'll head over to another tab, I'll go over into S3, and I understand, or I highlight the Amazon resource name that we want to monitor. So in this case, I'm heading over into S3, and from here, we'll list out all the different buckets that we have, and I'll target a bucket in this situation, we have the hacker Lloyd test bucket. I'll select onto that. I'll select onto properties. And we can see here, we have the Amazon resource name. I'll copy this, head back over to analyzer, all right? And add resources by pasting the resource RN, all right? Add resources. So once we're done with that, scroll all the way down. Once you're ready, yes, this is a paid service. Create analyzer, all right? So it states the following. Successfully created analyzer, Okay, and what we can do now is we can give it a wall as it looks through all the different policies, all the potential permutation of potential accesses over into the target resource and flag out to you those findings. A few moments later. Okay, perfect, it's done right now. So if you see here, we now have the findings generated automatically for us and it's analyzed across all these potential different type of policies, roles, users, and so on, and give you insights into it. So you can see right here, we have all these different IAM roles that has access in through this specific S3 bucket that we have targeted. So if I scroll down further, same thing, you can see, for example, like EC2 role pipeline, and then we have the EC2 role as well that has access over into the S3 bucket. So all of this analysis has been completed for you instead of you manually checking across all these different policies, IAM roles, IAM users, across different accounts. This makes it so much easier for you to uncover all these different accesses into the target resources. Go ahead, try it out, let me know how it goes.